Hi, I'm finally back in detailing this canvas that I started the other day. So, and I have a little bit of uh, assistance with my photography so that it's not like over here and I'm leaning over. Anyway, I'm using a liner brush. I can't even see what this is. It's a one low Cornell 7050 script liner. And I have the brush loaded up. Again, it's acrylic paint, paint, not plaint, paint. And we're gonna quickly get this detailed. All right, so when I'm working on a piece, I'm constantly moving it. I'll put this underneath, maybe it won't be so loud. All right, so I'm pulling the brush towards me and I'm not outlining each individual stroke per se. It does not have to be a perfect match around the outside of it. A lot of times when people are beginning to do this, you are so worried about having it absolutely perfect. You kind of find that your eye kind of hides any imperfection. Okay, so we'll come around. Again, as I've mentioned before, purples are not necessarily a traditional color to use, but it is fun to play around with other colors and other backgrounds, hence the canvas. Most of the time this is done on wood. So you have to sand, base coat, sand, base coat. If you've heard me before, I've said that before. I'm not sure how many of these videos I've done so far, but I hope you guys like them. Okay, let's come around here. Rose modeling is based on flowers. They're not necessarily flowers you would totally see out in nature. They're kind of fantasy like flowers. <laughs> there you go. Well, they're always based on C strokes and S strokes. I don't normally paint this fast. So, depending on the piece I'm doing, if I'm doing a piece for, on, for a competition, it always takes me way longer because I'm so worried about every stroke that I'm putting down. There we go. So as I use the brush, I tend to use the whole brush I'm pushing it down, I could get thick, thin. And if you notice, I don't necessarily have to load in between each stroke because there's enough paint on there. When I load, I'll twist in there. There we go, and it's back to a tip. Come around. There we go, we've got these fun little things here. When I did the stroke work underneath, I used a filbert brush and I used the canvas underneath to kind of give it definition. This is a transparent telemark style. Transparent because you let the background color come through. It adds the depth to it. Let's see how much more we can do here. I'm trying to keep it fast because Sometimes you wanna, don't want to sit and watch for a super long time. A little detail work in here. It's fun to put little swiggles and wiggles. Okay. The other night when I put these lines in, it was just kind of a nice addition. Everything is so curved. It's sometimes really nice just to have some straight lines to break it up. Okay. If you notice, I keep turning the piece. I turn it so that I'm pulling the brush towards me. It's much easier to pull something towards me than try to push the brush away. You have much more control over the bristles and how much strength you put on it. As I use the brush, as you can see, I come down. It's almost like an airplane coming down. Come down for a landing, up, down, down, and up. Get these little things here, whoops. 
Now if you notice, I had a little drop come in there, so we'll just add that in. A little line there. Uh, just a little bit more to go. I do have fun painting with these purples. Again, traditionally, reds, blues, greens, yellows. More of what you would see in nature. I came off of that. It's nice and loud again. Move over. Okay, almost done. Let's get these little flowers up here done. Get a little line work in there. Any little thing you add just adds extra interest to it. And I'm not following exactly when you start as a beginner you work with patterns and then you want to follow because it just gives you a good understanding of how the art form works gives you a basis to start from maybe a little line work in there a little Call it teardrop. There. A couple things up at the top. A little here and here. And I think we're going to call it done. Just put my name in there. Design, margin. Voila, all done. Have a good night.